Good morning, happy Monday. I am all excited and ready to start our enrichment week here at Wall and Paul Beck Middle School. I've got my big old cup of coffee and I've got on my cross country t-shirt. Little secret that I'm gonna let you guys in on. I went to Wall and Paul Beck when I was in middle school and when I was in high school, I was on the cross country team and I was slow, like really, really slow. And I came in like last, kind of a lot. But here's the deal. I never lost a race because I never quit a race. I always finished. And here's the thing about that's cool about running is that you run against your own best time. It's not about who's at the front of the pack and beating them. It's about where were you yesterday and how are you gonna be better than that today? So, as we start this enrichment week here at Wall and Paul Pack, where your teachers are gonna be sending you home assignments, I want you to think about a couple of things and I want you to take some lessons from cross country. The first thing that I want you to remember is that it is a marathon, not a sprint, okay? This is not a sprint where you're gonna get all of your work this morning and you're gonna get it all done in the next 15 minutes. That's not happening. We're gonna pace ourselves out, okay? We're gonna do something every day this week. Look at the assignments that you have and decide what you're gonna do each day to move forward. Okay, that's the first thing that I want us to remember. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. We're gonna pace ourselves. We're gonna do a little something every day. The second thing I want you to remember is to stay in your lane. You are not racing against all of the other people out there. You're competing against yourself. It is about you. It's about becoming a better person today than what you were yesterday. So it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. Think about you, think about where you are and where you want to be, okay? So it's not about the whole world, it's about you, it's about focusing. And if you do those two things, here's what we can do when we get back. When we get back to the middle school after this whole COVID-19 thing is over and we're all safe and healthy and we're back at the middle school, I will share with you my eighth grade yearbook from Wall and Paul Beck Area Middle School where I had a haircut like a big giant triangle, okay? So this morning, before you even start, take a deep breath. I want you to blare your favorite music. I want you to have a dance party around your kitchen, or I want you to go and do 10 jumping jacks, or go outside and race around your house three times. Do something this morning to get your blood moving, to get the oxygen flowing to your brain, then sit down, look at the stuff that your teacher sent home to you, decide how you're gonna pace yourself out for the week, Okay, if you have any questions, if you need anything, you can email me or you can email your other school counselors. If you haven't yet taken your silly selfie, take your silly selfie and email it to me so I can make a fun video of all of us reading. Um, wash your hands, stay safe, have fun, and learn something this week. It's about you. It's about doing better for you today than what you did yesterday, not about anybody else. Bye, guys.